Mr. Bibb tastes that, I'll sure get a promotion. But then should have waited for your boss to get here before we cooked it. You don't know, Mr. Bibb. When he says 6.30, you'll be here right on the nose. But he doesn't like to wait for anything. I hope he likes everything. Oh, he will. Told me he had to have a steak in three months. Oh. Gee, I could kiss the butcher for giving you this one. You let me take care of those things, Edgar. Oh, huh? oh, oh my. Say, say, she can smell that way outside. I'm as hungry as a wolf. And you eat like one, too, brother-in-law. <laughs> I suppose you got that bay window by dieting. Huh? Now, Edgar, now, Edgar, don't pick on brother before dinner. After all, you'll upset him, and then he won't be able to eat. Yeah, I wish I could depend on that. Mm. Yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 Now, Edgar, get here. Yeah. Stop playing like that. Now, you're just going to spoil everything. Well, daughter, I've got everything on the table. Oh, that's nice, mother. Oh, the speaker. Oh, pardon my lips. Edgar! Oh! Well, what are you going to do with that knife, dear? Well, I'm going to take it out and sharpen it. Oh, yes, we want everything perfect for your boss. Oh, it will be. You know, he's liable to give you a nice present for cooking that lovely meal. Oh, Edgar, I couldn't take anything for that. What's he going to give me? Look, I didn't say he was going to give you anything. He didn't say that he was. Why, the old cheapskate changing his mind like that. Hmm. I guess I'd better sharpen this knife. Hey, Kennedy, here's your ladder and tank. You're welcome anytime, Harry. Something smells like steak. It is steak. The boss is coming for dinner. I wish I was your boy. <laughs> hey, that's my doorbell. Take it. Wait. Hey, Edgar. Hey, what is it? Mr. Harry Cook? Yes. I have your name on our priority list for a, a free copy of volume number one of the Coverall Encyclopedia. Oh, you make me a present of volume one? That's right. And then I buy the other 25 volumes? Uh, well, yes. I don't want any. Oh, I guess you're the wrong party. I am. Well, who lives next door? Edgar Kennedy. Thanks. You're welcome. Who? Edgar said Mr. Bibb might give me a present. Hmm. Uh, Edgar said Mr. Bibb was going to be on time, too. <laughs> oh, no. There he is. Right on his nose. <laughs> Edgar Kennedy? Oh, no. I'm Mrs. Kennedy. Edgar's a lot bigger than I am. Oh, I see. Won't you come in? You want me to come in? Well, of course. We've been expecting you. You have? Mm -hmm. Here, let me take your hat. Oh, but that won't be necessary. Well, you can't eat with your hat on. Eat? I don't think you know why I'm here. Oh, sure I do. You're here to see Edgar and maybe, just maybe give a present to someone? Well, yes, I, I'd like to do that. We'll talk about that later. Everything's on the table. Come on. You sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> oh, you sound just like Edgar. <laughs> Come right along. And will you sit there, please? Oh, this is my mother. How do you do? And my brother. I'm awfully glad to meet you, sir. <laughs> now, you sit right down. I'll go find Edgar. But really... My brother, will you start serving while everything's hot? I know. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah. You sit right down. That's you. Sit right down there. There you go. <laughs> Edgar, Mr. Bibb is here. Eddie! I don't know where Edgar is. The garage door's down. Well, perhaps we should wait. Oh. Edgar wouldn't want you to wait. No, we'll go right ahead and eat while it's hot. How's the steak, brother? Well, that's good. Well. Oh.
department. Hello, hello. Say, I'm locked in my... I'm lo Edgar Kennedy, 5012 Hometown Avenue. Now, I'm... A you say there's somebody in the garage? What's he doing there? <laughs> He's trying to get out. Oh, the door's locked. Yes, dearie, the door is locked. Keep him there and we'll send someone around as soon as possible. <laughs> so it's possible. That's not soon enough. I can get out quick. Here's a radio call. Calling car 51, car 51. Prowler trapped in garage at 5012 Hometown Avenue. The steak was delicious, Mrs. Kennedy, but I still feel like I'm imposing on you. Oh, you shouldn't say a thing like that, even if it's true. Should he, brother? Mm -hmm. See? Well, anyway, I won't bore you with my free gift offer. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. You have? Mm-hmm. What is it? Well, let's, uh, coverall encyclopedia. <gasps> Did you hear that, Mother? A coverall cycle... What color? Oh, you can have any color you want. Oh, uh, I'll take red. That'll match the blue handbag Brother gave me for Christmas. Yeah. Oh. You sure you want this now? Oh, sure, I'm sure. All right. Sign your name right there. I'll have it delivered tomorrow. Uh-huh. I got him. This must be the place. Keep an eye on it while I go to the house. Right. Uh. Take it easy. We got you covered. You will draw a knife on it. Try to steal a car, huh? Oh, no, look. I live here. I suppose you're a sword oh, swallower. Oh, look. God, I just sharpened that. Come on, get me. No, but wait a minute. Come you on, don't understand. Edgar? Why, Eddie. Hey, tell him who I am. Tell him you're my wife. He's my wife. Yeah. I no. mean, uh, I'm his husband. I, we're, I, <laughs> we're married. If she's willing to admit that. It must be the truth. Come on, Joe. If you need an executive, brother is the real brains of the family. Oh, I can see that. Oh, oh boy, you shouldn't have said Here's that. Here's Edgar. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bibb. Hello. Uh, who's this? Why, Edgar, don't you know Mr. Bibb? Yes, certainly I know Mr. Bibb. Well, uh, my name isn't Bibb. What? what? Hey, where's the steak? What? Why did you... Oh, 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 now, wait a minute, Ed. Hey, he ate it. I came here to sell an encyclopedia. Why didn't you eat that? Get out of here. I'll go. I'll go. But first, you pay me for the set. What set? The one your wife ordered. Here's the order. Give me. Edgar, wait! Now listen, Kennedy. You owe me for an encyclopedia. I owe you a punch in the nose for eating that steak. Now get out of here or I'll pay you right now. Oh, Edgar. I didn't get my present. So he's going to get his. <laughs> oh, Bay! Hey, is this the way you greet your guest? <laughs> this is Mr. Bibb. Oh. How do you do? I'm sorry I'm late. What? I'm a lot hungrier. <laughs> now, where's that steak? There isn't any steak. What? Kennedy, you got me out here for a steak dinner. No steak, no job. Oh, oh wait a minute, Mr. Bibb. You see, uh, there's been a beef about the steak. I, I mean, a mistake about the beef. This is Meatless Friday. We never serve steak on Meatless Friday on a card. We can't buy any on Thursday. Because if everybody's brought it up on Wednesday, that's the day after Tuesday, which is also Meatless Day. <laughs> you see? No. Well, look, she's trying to say it. Did it shut up? Uh, Florence means that there's a mistake about the day. You were supposed to come tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? That's all right. Oh, I mean, that's all right tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I misunderstood. Yeah. Well, don't you feel badly? Everything would have been just fine if that other Mr. Bibb no, had done it. Well, I'll be back tomorrow, then, and tomorrow. on time. Uh -huh. And remember, I'll be twice as hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I sure 
saved your job for you that time, Baldy. You bet you did, brother. Yeah. You'll be back tomorrow, twice as hungry. Who's going to save it then? <laughs> it's a pity I have to do all your thinking for you. Well, I suppose it's up to someone with brains. What are you going to do, brother? I've got a friend who works for a packing company. Maybe he... Hello, uh, uh, let me speak to Jerry. Yeah. Uh, hello, Jerry. Uh, this is Jack. Uh, my brother-in-law's in a jam. Uh, oh, you've got a brother-in-law too, hey? <laughs> well, then you know what I have to put up with. Hey, uh, look, Jerry, here's the deal. Well, I'd like to help you, Jack. We only deal in wholesale beef. Uh, put him on the phone. Here, Ed, you talk to him. Hello, this is Edgy Kennedy speaking. What is the smallest amount of beef you can send me? Well, I can let you have a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds? <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Deliver tomorrow afternoon. Well, what are you going to do with a thousand pounds of beef? My mother, a lot of that's bone. Oh, I am going to build a freezer in that little... You'll have to get a plumber at somebody. Oh, couldn't to build it. I can build one myself. Oh, stupid. What's the matter with you? Where I go? You know, Edgar, I still think you should have had the plumber fix that. I'm doing all right. You took all the machinery out of my nice refrigerator. Now it won't work. You won't need it anymore. You can use the freezer. Come in. I brought your encyclopedia. If you'll pay me, I'll bring it in. I didn't buy any books. And I'm not going to pay for these books. Uh, Edgar, isn't that my vacuum cleaner? Yes. Well, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to blow the insulation in between the walls. Oh. Blow it in the wall, Ed. You're not out here. Oh, turn it off, Ed. You turn it off. Oh, Edgar. Now look what you've done. You've stopped on my thing and we'll have to get a plumber anyhow. No, we won't have to get a plumber anyhow. I'll fix it. Oh, oh, Edgar, I think it'd be a lot simpler to get the plumber. Family, I could have fixed things up myself. You certainly did, Baldy. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked to Jerry on the phone. The beef is on its way. Well, I better get here soon. What? Mr. Bibb's about due. Oh, I got set the table. Oh, Come in. I've got a COD out here for Edgar Kennedy. Well, at last. How much is it? Sixty-nine dollars. I'll get you a check. You put it in the freezer there. In the freezer? Well, how much have I got left? $128. Oh, I'm sorry, Ed. Answer the bell. Yeah. Mr. Bibb. Oh, yeah. Well, here I am. And I hope this evening it's beefsteak and not mistake, Kennedy. Ah, uh, there'll be no slip up this time. Come on out and pick out your own steak. Oh, I didn't know I was going to have a choice. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> Well, it's all in there, Mr. Kennedy. Fine, here's your check. And now, Mr. Bibb, help yourself. Whew. What? Oh. What kind of a joke is this? Where are the stakes? You'll find stakes in volume 19, S to T. Good night. Bye. Goodbye, Kennedy. And you needn't show up for work Monday. Well, isn't that nice of him? Come in. Whoop. 
You getting the beef? Am I getting the beef? Oh, the beef! Yes, put the beef here in the freezer. Oh, Mr. Bibb! Mr. Bibb! Mr. Bibb! Oh, Mr. Bibb! Look, it arrived. It's just here. A thousand pounds. If this was another joke. No, no, this is no joke. Honestly, come on. Go out and look. And you can cut off any part you want. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. Now, Lord, this, uh... I, uh, couldn't get them all in there, Baldy. Here you are. So long, Herman. This does it, Kennedy. Goodbye. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh.